Yu-Gi-Oh players, how are you today? Welcome to a uh, a deck profile for Monday. We have Heretics testing out Illusionary Snatcher, and today's video has been brought to you by Kyber Condom. Just in case you activate your trap card, it really is a condom. Look, no joke. So let's go on with the video. So. This deck has been in testing mode, and it still is in testing mode. And I just want to show you what I've been doing and my progress with the deck. So we have, we have three Hanzos. Hanzos a Dark Warrior. I can get Super Transformation, and then I can activate Super Transformation, send my Ninja Monster and one of their monsters, and I special summon a Dragon from my deck whose level is equal to or less than those levels. So that's why it's good. That's why I run Hanzo. Caius is how debatable in this deck, but I like it because I get to remove cards from play, and it's dark. Illusionary Snatcher, a card that people have trouble understanding. Now, let me give you an example. If I special summon Tefnuit, and I tribute to normal summon Sue, um, Tech News Effect activates as Chain Link 1, then I chain Illusionary Snatcher from my hand, and then I special summon Illusionary Snatcher, and it becomes a level 6 Light Dragon type. It copies the attribute type and level of the monster that was Tribute Summoned. Then I get White Tail Dragon from my deck. Illusionary Snatcher adds on to the combos and the push. Um, and it's dark. So since I run Tefnuis and I run Docks in this deck, I do run Light Pulsar. That's another card that adds on to the combos of the deck. So that's how Illusionary Snatcher works. Chaos Sorcerer because I can move a card from play and it's level 6. Gores for stop OTKs and when I have dead draws. Uh, Red Eyes Dr. Metal. Another highly debatable card in this deck, whether you should run it or not. Three Tef Nuits. There's no debate about that. You're going to run three of these. In any heretic deck, you're going to run three. Next, which is debatable to run. Yeah, the mat is backwards. <laughs> three assets. Highly debatable. Should you run three? Should you run two? Should you only run one? Uh, Sue is the same way, but I like Sue. Since I'm running Hanzo's in this deck, that's why I run three of the, all of the um, Heretics. Also, what if I don't get uh, a set? I mean, Sue, I mean, what if I don't get Tech New It? And I have to normal summon a set to special summon that. Sometimes that's the case. That's why I like running all, all three of these, because they help me just in case. If I have one, I can do the other. If I have the other one, I can do the other. So at least if I have two of any in my hand, then I'm, I'm good to go. Three is good as long as you have a back row that doesn't stop me. Um, one Watt Tower Dragon. I hate running Luster Dragon 2 because dead draws. I draw into Watt Tower all the time. I'm like, crap, this thing is in my hand. So I run just that. Two light pulsar dragons. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Two light pulsar dragons. Because I have a good ratio of lights and darks in the in the deck. And light pulsar adds on to the combos. I can pitch a light and dark to the grave to special summon it. So that's why I run this. And this build is not the Complete build. There's a card missing. I forgot the name. The Constellata. Constella, whatever how you pronounce it. That monster to add monsters from your graveyard or field to your hand. That card makes this deck super good. I can reuse BLS, reuse Light Pulsar. I can OTK more with it. But yeah, Black Lexus Soldier. Alright, on to the magics. Dark Hole. Reinforcement of the Army. Heretic Seals and Mystical Space Typhoons. Monster Reborn. Heavy Storm. 
Allure of Darkness. Two dimensional prisons. I really do hate running mirror falls and I really do hate running torrential. Because when I have I mean torrential is good. It's all, it's all good. But I hate when I have monsters and I'm like, dang, I can't activate torrential. But if I had bottomless at this time, it would be good. Sometimes I don't want a torrential. Then I can just it just be sitting there until it gets space. Uh bottomless trap hole, but torrential's good. That's, no debate about that. You're going to run torrential. Now, a lot of decks this past weekend actually didn't. Well, some of the top tables didn't run torrential or mirror force. So, it might change the aspect of the game. So, that's, that's that. The extra deck is not much, okay? I, run, I do run guy Thunder Charges. I'm not telling you how many I run. It's up to you. And I do run... Uh, Heretic Kings. I do run Photon Strike Bouncers. And I do run Exabeater. Also, Sword Breaker out there the, in number 25. Now, the deck, it's um, it's a work in progress, okay? I was just checking out Illusionary Snatcher. And I've been doing a lot of plays with. Um, like Pulsar, it, it works to a degree. It's just some of the cards in here are debatable. It's up to you. You can make changes if you like. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about the deck. Uh, is Illusionary Snatcher a good card? I think it's a good I like it. I like the art of Illusionary Snatcher. 